Hello and welcome. My name's Tony. Thank you for being here. I'm here with the Everyday Counts program and we have an hour together for chair yoga. So I'm making sure your chair is comfortable and stable and that you've got a bunch of space around you. So when you move your arms and you are not knocking anything over. We're gonna start by creating a place and a shape that suits our body. So you're listening to me offering cues and suggestions, but you're paying more attention to how it feels for you. You're giving yourself full permission to change things up, adjust and adapt things as we move forward through the class. This is a recording, so at any point, if you're done and you've had enough, then turn it off. You don't have to go all the way to the end if that doesn't feel really good for you. And equally, if something isn't suiting your body that I'm offering you, please feel into doing it a different way or wait for the next movement to come and see if that suits you. We'll start in a seat making sure that your feet are a comfortable distance for you. And that's gonna feel different for each and every one of us because our bodies are different and put together differently. Sitting into the back of your chair for support, should that suit you? Or coming away from the back of your chair, supporting yourself, you get to try, choose and decide. Rooting down through the feet, and it doesn't matter whether you've got socks on, shoes on, bare feet, Taking the feet down to the support underneath you and just adding just a little bit of pressure, like about five or 10% of pressure, pushing down evenly through the left and the right foot as best as you're able. Keep those toes nice and light. So we're pushing the balls of the feet down and the heels. Just enough to light up the muscles around the legs. And then we settle that down. And just allow the legs to be supported by the earth underneath you, whatever those surfaces are for you. A great way to start off is to close your eyes or to lower or soften your gaze. And take all of your awareness down to the soles of your feet. And you might be experiencing them in different ways. It might not be a sensation, it might be more like a in a humming or a buzzing of energy. What is it you notice about the soles of your feet? What we focus on, we feel. So we're just waking up awareness as we place our awareness in different places. Sending your awareness up through the legs to the seat where your seat meets the chair. Making any adjustments you need to, evening everything up, left to right, front to back. And noticing here if your shoulders are forward of the hips or back of the hips, see if you can balance them right over top. That way the vertebrae of our spine is supporting us rather than, for example, if we're um, set forward a little, then the muscles of our back have to do a whole lot more work. From that rootedness and steadiness of the lower body being held, with the chair and the floor underneath us. Imagine the center line of your body from the tailbone all the way up through the torso, getting a little taller as if each vertebrae had a little space between them. Right the way up to the base of the skull. Chin tucks a little as the crown of the head reaches towards the sky. And again, drawing the ears back over the shoulders, ish. Rolling the shoulders back and down a couple of times. And maybe that's the first time today or not at all. Settling the shoulders down and away from the ears. So we have this rootedness and this lifting and broadness through the upper body. Keep the shape, take a breath in. On the exhale, Soften into a place that feels more comfortable in your body. So we keep the shape, but making those little or big adjustments. Take a few breaths to let go of any tension, tightness in the body as best as you can. And then we settle the breath. 
We go inwards and we notice, how are you doing today? Not needing to figure anything out, leaving judgments to one side, just being curious, how am I doing? And then ask yourself, what's on my mind today? What is on my mind? Letting the thoughts come, the stories, maybe the memories or the concerns. With the curiosity, huh, there it is. That's on my mind today. Without needing to push anything away or resist anything. Taking your awareness down into the heart space as best as you can or simply asking yourself, how am I feeling today? Emotions. What emotions are present with me? And maybe you're not quite sure. Maybe that feels like there's a little bit of um, a storm in there. Maybe it feels like you're really noticing one or two particular emotions without judgment, without a story as to why, just being curious. And then we notice, how's my body doing today? How is my body doing today? And where do I feel in my body? Where are the louder places? Where are the quieter places? With a curiosity. If there are any tender places that you need to take extra care of today, please be aware of that. And notice your energy levels in your body. Maybe you're feeling full of energy. Maybe you're feeling quite depleted again. It's a matter about the story as to why, just paying attention. And we start to notice the breath in the body coming and going, ebbing and flowing. Starting to breathe in and out through the nose if it's comfortable for you. And if it's not comfortable, then take an easy breath. They only invite the breath in and out through the nose because the nostrils have a small aperture. And that way we have to steady and lengthen the breath. We lengthen the breath, it calms the stress response, activates the relaxation response. But only if it's comfortable for you. If you're feeling like that as a strain or a stress, then please, an easier breath will be just as effective with your nervous system. We start to deepen the inhale, lengthen the exhale in your own way, your own rhythm. Deepening and lengthening, deepening and lengthening. And then we smooth the breath as best as we can in and out. So the breath becomes a little more fluid. We become a little more aware of that fluidity within the breath. Making sure we're not straining or forcing the breath. If that any strain is creeping into the breath, let it go. Let the breath be a little easier. Coming and going, ebbing and flowing. So we have this longer smoother breath with this quality of softness and no straining or forcing. And that's the breath we'll keep coming back to. It's a great breath for really checking in and noticing what's going on with you. Anytime that everything's feeling a bit too much, we just come back to stillness and focus on that longer, smoother, steadier breath. Let's root down through the feet. Awake in our seat. And then rise from there once again, just allowing the shoulders to settle back and down, broad across the collarbones. And we've got that beautiful breath. And then from here, let's bend those elbows, soft hands, and then we circle through the shoulders. Inhaling, round and up, exhaling, round and down. And you can allow those elbows to be close to the body or if it feels better to you to allow those elbows to get involved in those circles of the shoulders, please do. Just like the breath, smooth and steady the movement as best as you can. So even if that means the movement becomes a little smaller, 
mindful of how you experience this, whichever direction you're going in, there is no wrong way to do any of this. The end of one of your next exhales, let's pause and then we go around in the opposite direction and this is probably going to feel very different. Notice how you experience this in your body, be gentle with yourself. Mm -hmm. Steady and smooth, allowing it to be easy. And again, any movements you need and the arms to help you with that movement, go ahead. Let's take another two here. And then at the end of that exhale, let's pause, take those arms down next to you, dangling them down. I'm going to turn those palms out, bending from the elbows, inhaling, the fingertips lift to that inhale, exhale, turn the palms down. And it doesn't matter which angle they're at, just noticing what feels better for you. And you may notice with a curiosity, not with judgment, that one side is very different from the other. You can stay here or start to lift from the shoulders. Easy joint, shoulders, elbows, wrists, fingers and thumbs. Inhaling and exhaling. Beautiful, you can stay here or start to reach with the fingers and through the joints. Fingers can come up any height. Great place to stay right here. Then inhale, we're lengthening through the side waist. Exhale, it's that quality of grounding and softening. Stay here, or the next time we bring those fingertips up, we're gonna take the left hand down and right hand comes over. On the inhale, the left arm drifts up. Exhale, right down. And you can either be reaching through the joints or keep those joints nice and soft. Again, no wrong way to do this. As you reach to one side, opposite hip roots and ground. So then we get the length through the side body. Option as those hands are far apart, reaching in the opposite direction. So those bottom fingers are reaching too. Let's take one more either side. Longer, steadier, smoother breaths with that quality of softness. When you're ready, both hands floating down, coming back to support, rolling the shoulders, rolling the head in one direction and back in the opposite direction, nice and slow. Coming back through center, steadying the breath. Sitting away from the back of your chair, giving yourself a little bit of space behind you as we get down through the spine. Hands resting, and again, the breath is the thing that is guiding us. On the inhale, heart coming forward as we arch the back. Exhale, push the fingers towards the knees as we round. Mm -hmm. Shoulder blades come towards each other, maybe lifting the chin on the inhale, lengthen through the back of the neck though, so it's not just compression there. Exhale, tucking the chin down towards the chest. And you may want to keep that focus on the shoulders and the upper chest, or on that exhale as you round and curl the back ribs towards the back of the Chair push down through the feet evenly left to right, and then we get a little more activation down into the lumbar spine. On that inhale, you can imagine those heels drawing back towards the chair. Mm -hmm. So as much or as little movement in your body, your spine, as you wish to. 
If you want to add on, let's add the arms. On the inhale, let's take that right arm up. Exhaling, tapping down towards or on the knee and left arm up. So we're alternating side to side. Noticing how that feels. Going side to side, if that feels too much, then take the hands down and keep them sliding up and down those legs. If you want to add on, we'll add a little twist into that lift. So as we lift that right arm, glance to the right, left shoulder comes forward, right shoulder comes back, and then we're evening it up on that exhale. And then twisting to the left, alternating side to side. You might even look back over those shoulders as you open up. Noticing how this feels for you. And we'll take two more, either side or four more breaths. Noticing how that movement is feeling for you. Adjusting and adapting it or resting as you are called to. You know your body best. After the last exhale, whenever that is for you, we'll come all the way back through center. Any intuitive movement to release tension in your body, please go ahead. Big breath in. Exhale, settle that energy down. And notice how that feels. We're going to take those twisting movements and add a little more. So dangling the left hand down, turning the palm forward, shoulder blades snuggle towards each other on the back body. On the inhale, we're taking that left arm up towards shoulder height, turn the palm down on the exhale, and maybe that hand even comes back behind you depending on the range of motion in your arms. The inhale, lifting towards shoulder height, Exhaling down, maybe even back. So we get that range of motion through the shoulder. Great place to be. Keep the movement as flowing as possible. Option to add on, coming into a twist. The next time that left hand comes up towards shoulder height, we hold it there like you're holding something precious in your hands. That's the inhale. On the exhale, twisting to the left, glancing back. And inhale back through center. Exhale, the hand comes down, maybe back behind. That's the movement. Inhaling up. Exhaling, offering that palm out towards the left, maybe even back behind you. Inhaling forward, exhaling down. Keep the breath steady. Make any adjustments you need to. If you prefer to have your gaze facing forward, then go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm. We've got two more here, and then we'll take it to the other side. Last one. You can always rest, keep that breath guiding the movement. And when the hand comes down, We'll take that hand dangling next to us, right hand comes down here. Rolling the shoulders back and down, we're rooting to rise and steadying the breath, regulating the breath. Always you have the opportunity to check in with yourself. How am I doing? How's the tension in my body? How's my mind doing my emotions? And adjusting what you do from those places. Turning that right palm forward, starting on this side, inhaling that palm up towards shoulder height, no more, exhaling down, maybe even back behind the hips. Mm -hmm. And the arm is uh, responding to the breath. Great place to be right here. Continuing just like that if that's enough. If you want to bring a twist into it, let's lift on the inhale. Exhale, let's offer that round to the right side, inhaling back through center and down and back comes the arm. So we're inhaling up, 
Exhaling, twisting, left shoulder forward, right back, inhaling back through center and exhaling down. Keep the breath steady. Give yourself permission to change up what it is that you need. Let's do another three here. Noticing how you experience this in your body, changing and adjusting where you need to or resting. Last one here. And that hand comes down. Any intuitive movement you need to release any tension, go ahead, big breath in. I exhale it out nice and steady. Beautiful. From here, we're going to take those feet a little wider. So we've got our external rotation here. Feet rooted underneath the ankles so they're not close to the chair or out. We really have that kind of 90 degree angle going on in the knee. And if those feet need to come in a little closer for that to happen, then so be it. We're rooting down to rise from there. Big breath in, exhale it out, steady and smooth. Mm -hmm. And then from here, fingertips come to the inside of the thighs and we're rolling round the ribs. Inhaling round and forward, exhaling round and back. And then from there, once you have the movement, then start to get the shoulders, the head, the neck involved as we start to allow this movement to become more intuitive. There's no wrong way to do this. And maybe that means a very small movement for you or maybe it feels good to have a bigger movement. You get to choose. A very controlled movement, it is slow. There's no momentum here. So at any point, if you needed to pause, you could. I'm opening up through the hips, of course, as well as getting into all the vertebrae, the shoulders, the head. <coughs> Excuse me. And then on the exhale, we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Please explore this movement with your body. Don't think it has to look a particular way. It certainly doesn't have to look like it does in my body. We're all put together differently. We've got lots of different things going on. If imagining the movement feels better for you, then go ahead. Try and bring as much flow as you can into it. Let's take another few breaths here. The end of that exhale, we're coming round through center. Big breath in. Exhale it out, nice and slow. And then from there, hand to that right knee. We're going to pick up the toes on the right side, spread them wide. You can stay here, or if it's there for you, you can pick up the ball of the foot. So we're really pivoting on the heel. On the inhale, we've got that external rotation. On the exhale, we've got internal rotation. The further back on your chair you come, the more your thigh is supported. The further forward you come, the less you're supported, the more movement you'll have there. So it's not hindered by the chair itself. You get to decide. Left side and your um, pelvis and torso are stable. So we're isolating in through that hip. Keeping the movement aligned to the breath and the breath aligned to the movement. So that longer, smoother, softer quality um, is also in the movement itself, not just the breath. Next time we take that knee out or when you're ready, the foot was lifted, we'll take it down. Readjusting yourself as you need to, coming to the left side. You can pick up the toes, spread them wide if you like, or pick up the ball of the foot. Inhaling wide, exhaling down and in. If the foot is down, you're rolling to the outside and to the inside edge of that foot or pivoting on the heel. Right side, your torso and your pelvis, head and neck all 
stable and steady. I'm really getting into that left hip here. Let's take another few breaths. Not rushing anything, really noticing, am I experiencing this? Do I need to change or shift something for it to feel better for me? And the next time that knee comes out, we'll keep it there. The foot comes down, readjusting yourself. And then we'll take those feet in towards center. Big breath in. Exhaling it out. Nicely done. Moving into the hips a little more. I'm going to take that entire shape over to the right side. Sitting as far forward on the chair to the right side as much as feels comfortable and your feet feel stable. So the further forward we are, the more weight is in our feet. We're going to root to rise again, noticing your alignment of um, your bones, whether your shoulders are forward or back. See if we can bring those shoulders over the hips, the head more or less over the heart, and we're breathing. Right hand to the back of that right um, back of the chair, or depending on the chair, maybe it comes to the side of the back of the chair, which is now your side. From here, shifting our weight over so the left sitting bone is off the chair itself. And notice as you do this, if the hip dips down or it heightens up, see if you can level out the pelvis as if that left uh, sitting bone is really connected to the chair still. If this feels unstable, you're coming back through center and making sure that you feel comfortable, focus on the breath. If you're adding on, you're going to take that left knee and draw it down. Toes tucked here, making sure that that left foot is not out to the side. So we want the hips to be facing the right here so we're not twisting in the chair. If toes are uncomfortable for you, top of the foot and you can bring any softness underneath there as long as it's firm enough for you. From here, we've got that support with the right hand on the chair, however you wish. Take a few cat and cows here, just noticing the shift in the pelvis, we're tucking um, that on that exhale, tucking the tailbone and then setting the tailbone out behind us, and then coming to a place that feels sustainable. Head over heart, shoulders over hips. Keeping this alignment in the upper body, notice if you can take that left leg back a little further. And if as you do that, you start to come forward, it means the pelvis is getting involved. So just making sure that you're in a place that feels sustainable for you. And we're breathing. That left hip drawing forward, you might feel that through the front of the left hip or through the quad here. And we're breathing, rooting down through both feet here, through the right side of the pelvis, and we're lifting from there. Left arm out the side as we've already been here, inhaling the fingertips up, exhaling down. Great place to stay or sweeping from the shoulder. And that right hand is there to support you should you want to take those fingertips up and overhead. Steady and smooth. Mm -hmm. Beautiful job. Let's take two more here. Adjusting anything, resting if you need to. We're really rooting down through both feet and those right sitting bones. Lost one here. That left hand comes back to take the left thigh, drawing it forward. And here we are taking a breath here, noticing if that hip is dropped or lifted. On that exhale, we're coming back into the chair, fully coming to center. And then when you feel ready, we're coming over to the left side to repeat that on the other side. 
whole pelvis, both sitting bones on the chair, we're coming forward as much as we need to to keep those feet firmly planted. Left hand, the back of the chair or the back of that seat for support. Steady breath. And then from here, we're shifting to the front of the chair. So that right sitting bone is now off the chair. Once again, notice if that hip lifted or lowered and see if we can keep that even. And this might be enough here. Just keeping this pelvis even is a lot in the core. The breath is steady, giving us those clues. If it's elevating, then maybe we need to do a little less. Move down through the left foot. And the option is to bring that right knee down. And again, making sure that right foot isn't out to the side, that that right hip is facing forward. Toes tucked or untucked. Keep it in an easy place to start with. And a few cat and cows here, noticing how it feels in your body. And then coming to a place where the shoulders are over the hips, the head more or less is over the heart. And then we're keeping that upper body as we take that right leg back a little further or not. You get to choose. We need to be at a place where we can root down through both feet and keep that upper body upright rather than coming forward. And we're breathing. Continue here, just steadying that breath or that right arm comes out from the elbow, we inhale, fingers up, exhale down, or coming from the shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. Those left fingertips on the chair can help steady you should you wish to come up and over, finding that length through the right side of the body. Longer, steadier, softer breath. More or less another three to go, depending on the length of breath. Notice how you're um, aware of this movement through the body. Another two, unless you're resting. Last one here. And then that right hand when it comes down, seeking out the back of the right thigh. Bringing the right foot forward, taking a breath here. And on that, half of that exhale, sliding back into the chair, and then coming all the way back through center. Big breath in. Exhaling, settling it down as we wash the knees from side to side. Mm -hmm. Rooting to rise and steadying the breath. And from here, we're going to take those hands in towards each other, give them a little rub. As we rub those together, getting a little warmth, and then we're going to part the hands and bring them in towards each other until you feel the energy from the other palms. And it might feel like there's a little kind of cushion between the palms. And when you find that humming, that buzzing, we're gonna stretch it out until it's a little bit like the size of a small ball in between your palms. You might feel this humming or buzzing in your hands. Holding this there, imagining it, if you like, in your awareness and your inner eye, as a ball of energy. Any color you like, it can look however you want. And then from there, I'm going to take this to the left, up, over to the right, and creating a circle. Mm -hmm. Keeping that awareness with that energy and allowing that circle maybe to get a little bigger. Maybe the gaze stays forward, or you start to take your awareness in between the hands. And then we're getting everything involved, functional movement here. Those circles can get 
any shape that suits you, as big or small as you like, but we're trying to keep that coordination with both hands. One more here, we're gonna take it in the opposite direction. Pausing when we come back through center and then small circles in the opposite direction. And of course, we're having to coordinate a whole lot here, holding the hands together. And then the shoulders starting to come forward and back as the torso starts to move. Maybe we start to allow those hands to get a little further away. Keep the breath steady, coordinating the breath with the movement. Let's take another three in this direction. Inhaling and exhaling. Last one here. And then we're going to come all the way back through center. Taking the palms up, resting them down on your legs. Softening the gaze or going inwards. And noticing that inner body energy. You might feel it in your fingertips, your hands. You might be able to expand this throughout your body or simply notice what you notice here about how you're doing, your mind, emotions, your body as you open up to the present moment, regulating the breath and finding a small moment of quietness. Great place to stay right here. If you would like to stay for longer, otherwise turning the palms down for grounding, feeling the your legs underneath you. Big breath in. Exhale it out. And allowing from here your eyes to float open if they haven't already. And from here. We'll come down to the earth, gathering everything you need around you, any pillows, blankets, bolsters, anything you like for your relaxation, and I will see you down there. And here we are for the second half of class, and I'm gonna come down all the way onto my back, knees to the sky, feet to the floor. Once you're down, adjusting yourself so you're feeling like you're centered and grounded. Easy, free inhale and that long, slow exhale with that slight constriction so you can hear the sound of the breath. Ocean exhale. Get back into that rhythm of breath. And then making sure that the feet are comfortable, hip distance-ish apart for you. I'm going to take those hands either side of the hips and roll one shoulder blade and then another underneath you softly so we have this broadness across the chest. So we've got this openness through the heart, palms facing down. Soft toes with the feet, but pushing down through both feet evenly. On the inhale, pushing the feet down, we're gonna hover that pelvis, and exhale, tapping it down. Notice as you do that, if you're lifting one side of the pelvis or coming down onto one side of the pelvis more than the other, and see if you can even that out. This, of course, is a whole lot of core going on here. Don't think about the height, think about the smoothness of the movement. You can use those arms all the way down to the fingertips to support you. Chin is tucked a little, so the back of the neck is long, and the option is to start to lift up a little higher through the hips. And again, this isn't about height. So it's going at your own pace. Notice if you're swaying from one side to another, try and keep it as even as possible. And the option is to come right up towards the top of the shoulders. Tap 
and down. And option to lift and stay. And we breathe. See if you can tap into that ocean exhale still. Notice if you're hardening in any area, see if you can soften that up. And on that last exhale, we're going to come all the way down to the floor. Keep yourself grounded here, knees in towards each other, ankles wide. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Motion, exhale. Take a few breaths there. And you can continue to lift and lower, lift and lower, and stay for three breaths. Or we're coming back to our original position, knees over the ankles, palms facing down. Focus on the breath. And when you're ready, we're gonna lift up, and this time we stay. Whatever height feels really good to you, you can push down through the palms. If this feels really good, then stay. If you wanna add on, Walk one shoulder blade and another underneath you so we get a little more openness through the heart. Palms coming in more towards the center. You can stay there or interlace those hands underneath the pelvis, pushing down through the shoulders, through the arms, all the way to those pinky fingers. And we're staying. Bridge pose, chin tucked here. Pushing into both feet, so the heart is lifting. Ocean exhales, keep that breath steady and smooth here. Coming down whenever you want to, or we've got two more breaths. On the last exhale, if you have a bind in the hands, we're gonna release that. And taking the hips all the way down to the floor. Ankles wide, knees in. Soften the shoulders and we breathe. Ocean exhales. Settle the heart rate if it was lifted. Separate the knees when you feel ready. And we're drawing that right knee in towards you, giving yourself a little hug. And circle through that ankle. Round in one direction. We've got some snack cracker and pops. Let's take it around in the opposite direction, really slow. Ocean exhales, guiding the movement. Coming back to center. And then from here, outer ankle crosses two at the top of that left leg, and we've got a figure four here. Winging that right knee out without compromising the pelvis. So if you're winging that right knee out, but the opposite hip is lifting, see if you can anchor the pelvis down, spreading through the toes. Option to stay here. If you want to come into full thread the needle, then we're lifting up, hovering that left leg, drawing that left thigh in towards you. Now let the left thigh do the work. So the left thigh is pulling in, the right ankle is pushing away, and the hands are just supporting you. Any tightness, tension in the shoulders, the throat, the jaw, please release it. So the leg's doing more of the work. Option to stay here. Option to lengthen the left leg up towards the sky. You can Take those hands, walk them up that leg, up towards the ankle, pushing through the heel, spreading through both toes here, and then anchor the lower back into the earth. Now we breathe. And again, that left thigh drawing into the right ankle. The right ankle's flaring away, as is that right knee. And then when you're ready, bending that left knee, left foot comes down to the earth. Push into the left foot to shift the hips to the right. Arms in a cactus or a T here, and we're taking that whole shape over to the left side. If you need some support on this side, please take it. 
This is option number one for a twist. So that outer left knee coming to the earth or again a nice firm surface like a bolster or a firm pillow. That's option number one. You can bind the legs here, just crossing the knees, maybe even binding the ankles, maybe not. And we're taking that shape over to the left, different twist. Or we unbind the legs, draw the knees up and over, right shoulder is rooted here. So you get to decide which shape suits you. Adjust the shape for you and your body. Take any support you need underneath that outside left leg, knee, ankle, shin. And then if that right shoulder is rooted, taking the gaze to the right and breathing. Ocean exhale. Always making your own changes and shifts to suit you. The breath is going to guide you. If, it's, if you're not able to keep that steady breath, then coming out, shifting something, changing, resting. And then when you're ready, the gaze comes to center. And we'll take that whole shape up to center. If you had any cross or bind, we'll release that. Picking the hips up, bringing them back to center themselves. Readjust back to the breath, and we draw that left thigh in, circling through the ankle one direction. pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Flexing that ankle and staying right there. Big beautiful breath in. Exhaling it out. Crossing the outer ankle onto the right thigh. Pelvis is rooted here, keeping that pelvis rooted, and we're taking that left knee out just for the musculature of our legs, jaw, and the face is soft. Great place to be, we've got a figure four. If you want to add on, if it feels okay to you, hover the right foot, we're drawing that right thigh in towards us. Legs are doing a lot of the work here, so that right knee is drawing in, the left ankle is pushing away, Hands coming to support you. It's a lot on the left hip right here. You can stay here or come back to that figure four with the right foot on the floor. Or extend that right leg up towards the ceiling, pushing through the ankle, spreading through the toes. And the hands reach to wherever they're comfortable. You can walk those fingertips up towards that ankle. And might not get there in this lifetime, spreading the toes. Now anchor the back of the pelvis on the earth here, really allowing that right thigh to push into the left ankle, the left ankle and knee to wing away and we're breathing. Ocean exhales. Soften through the jaw, the throat, the shoulders, the neck. Great place to stay. And then the last option here, when you're done, is to bend that knee if it was straightened, taking that right foot down to the floor. Push into that right foot and shift the hips to the left. You get a whole choice of um, the same twists here, either um, stay in that figure four, you can cross that leg over, you can have parallel knees and ankles, and we're taking the shape over to the right side, rolling towards the outer hip, maybe even to onto that right hip as the left shoulder is grounded here. And we breathe, ocean exhales. Soften where you can, make any adjustments you need to. Yoga is not about endurance. It's about finding a shape that 
works for your body within that breath. Gaze comes to center, knees come to center, and he binds, then we're releasing both feet to the floor, shifting those hips back through center, taking the feet nice and wide here, and we're just gonna wash those knees side to side as we massage the lower back, side to side, hip through hip. Option to take the knees all the way to one side, the opposite hip lifts, and pushing that top knee away from you, down and away, as you glance away from the knees. And then we come up through center, taking it to the other side. This side may feel very different, pushing that top knee away. And then we'll come back up through center. Any lost movements you want to release or find yourself ready for your relaxation. Constructive rest, knees to the sky, ankles wide, knees touching, or a shape that suits you. No right and wrong here, and as you find yourself in that final shape that you've chosen, Adding extra blankets, eye pillows, bolsters, pillows. Finding a place where your body really can settle in and rest here. Settling down once you've decided on what feels good to you. There's no wrong way to be here. Finding the earth underneath you and relaxing down into it. With that weight settling down, imagine your bones just releasing down into the earth. On those beautiful exhales, offer your body down into that gravity. Take a breath in when you're ready, all the way to the top of your breath. Hold just for a beat. And exhale. Let it go as you let your body rest. And we sink a little deeper into the support underneath this. Inviting the body to rest. Joints are soft. Inner organs relaxing and releasing from around them. Muscles loosen and lengthen. The muscles of your face softening. Teeth parting, jaw soft. And then taking your awareness to the crown of your head and sweep a wave of relaxation down through your body to the tips of your toes. And do that as many times as you need to allow tension and tightness to unwind and release. you let yourself rest fully and completely. Letting the mind relax. And it'll go off thinking about other things, distractions, thoughts, sensations, stories. And keep your awareness deep inside 
notice with a curiosity. Hmm. My mind's off in that direction, thinking about that thing. Curious. No need to follow the mind, just watch it. As you notice that you are the observer, Noticing this conscious rest. creeps in anywhere, allow it to unwind. Stay here for as long as you like. And if you wish to stay for longer, let my words wash over you, not distracting or disturbing you from that deep, calming rest. If you're ready to finish your practice, notice the room around you without needing to look. Feel into it, notice your body, crown of your head to the tip of your toes and fingertips. Notice the surfaces underneath you. And starting to come back, awaken to the rhythm of your breath. Invite in a little deeper inhale all the way to the top. Exhale out through the mouth like a soft sigh. With a few of those breaths, when you feel ready, allowing movements to ripple through your fingers and toes, wrists and ankles. Maybe slowly your head slides from side to side. From there, allow your body to awaken in its own way. Maybe that feels like a really good stretch, wide, long, anything else. Maybe you wanna curl up into a ball. Maybe your knees bend, feet to the floor, washing those knees side to side. Anything that suits you. And then allow your body to guide you in its own way to a shape that it wishes to take for the end of your practice. Take your time, intuitive movements along the way. We'll settle down and into the support underneath us, whichever shape you've taken. Rising from there through the heart space, crown of the head lengthens. Hands coming into any gesture that suits you today. Softening the gaze or closing the eyes. And going inwards just for a moment and noticing the echo of your practice, how you're feeling, your mind, your body. 
on exhale breath dipping your chin down towards your heart space as we honor the heart thanking yourself for your practice today sincerely from my heart to yours namaste thank you for joining me